So here we're going to talk a little bit about the topics and the tentative schedule for this semester for our course. We will start with introduction. We will introduce the basic concepts of electrochemical cells and the related process. The, what is an electrochemical cells? Right. Uh, what uh, is an anode? What is a cathode? What is an electrolyte? What's the relationship between anode, cathode versus negative electrode and positive electrode? And what are the underlying process? What's a so-called full cell process versus so-called half cell process? And how do we get from half cell process to a so-called full cell by combining two half cell process? Right. What is the process of so-called redox reaction? Redox, reduction, oxidation reaction process. And hopefully we finish that in week one. And then in week two and three, we try to cover the equilibrium and the electrochemical thermodynamics. We'll introduce the concept of equilibrium and then link electrochemical reaction with what we learned before, hopefully in your material thermodynamics class, either you learned before or you are learning it right now. The thermodynamics, how do we establish a relationship between, let's say, open circuit voltage or equilibrium potential, cell potential versus the enthalpy, entropy? And uh, in material science, quite often, Gibbs free energy change in the process. How do we go from cell potential to Gibbs free energy change, or go from Gibbs free energy change back to the cell potential? So that is for week two and three. And then in week four and five, we are going to cover the so-called electrochemical kinetics. Kinetics, that word means how fast things go. Sometimes it also relates to what's the mechanism, what's the path for different reactions. And the kinetics for electrochemical reaction would be the focus for week four and five. And uh, we're going to focus on the current voltage relationship from electrochemical point of view. And current essentially, especially current density, tells us how many electrons or charge got passed per unit time. And that fundamentally linked to kinetics or how fast the electrochemical reaction happens. And uh, week six, we hope to briefly cover the topic of transport the motion or movement of stuff, of substance in an electrochemical process, the basic principles and how it impacts the reaction kinetics for electrochemical reaction. Week seven to nine, we hope to cover basic electrochemical techniques for analyzing uh, electrochemical reaction that will include electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, EIS, or sometimes people just say IIS, as well as several different controlled current and controlled voltage technique. By controlling current, such as constant current test, we sometimes call it galvanostatic uh, test, as well as controlled voltage, such as constant voltage or a uh, potential static test, as well as um, cyclic voltammetry, which you control the voltage in a cycle mode, a linear sweep voltammetry, LSV, all these different uh, electrochemical techniques. Uh, we are going to cover them briefly in week seven to nine. And from 10 to 11, we'll briefly cover the examples of electrochemical energy conversion and storage well batteries and the fuel cells and the batteries is essentially going from chemical energy to electrical energy and there could be primary energy and batteries or secondary energy which you can recharge going back from electricity back to chemical energy and for battery, typically you have a limited supply of your chemical energy. Well, for fuel cells, quite often you use chemical fuels such as hydrogen or natural gas. And uh, for that one, you still go from chemical energy to electrical energy, except now you have abundant supply of 
a chemical fuel such as hydrogen or natural gas you have a as long as you can supply continue to supply the chemical fuel you can continue to generate uh, electricity unlike battery you are limited really by a battery size and uh, week 12 we hope to cover electrolytic production of different chemicals and metals and also electro deposition these two are closely related they are going back from electricity to chemicals or metals they can be used for producing chemicals such as hydrogen gas chlorine gas or for very important metals such as uh, copper Week 13 will briefly cover corrosion. This is a very important uh, part, but because there's a separate uh, course dedicated to corrosion and its pre prevention as well as the principles, so we'll just briefly cover corrosion in our course. And finally, if we have time, we'll cover electrochemical sensors such as glucose center. Okay? So these are the topics that we plan to cover in this class and uh, we also give the tentative schedule for this semester. Thank you.